Oh, hey everybody. This week on Ask Kristen, sexting. Hello? It really has nothing to do with talking voice to voice. So this example is bogus. So this week's Ask Kristen question is coming from Dana who wants to know, why do guys ask us to send them sexy pics? At first he seems all nice and kind and oh, such a gentleman, then bam. Send me a cute, sexy photo of yourself. Can I say no without them not judging slash not wanting to talk to me anymore? How do you respond to that? To answer your first all cats question of why are guys asking for these pictures in the first place, I think we have to acknowledge the fact that sexting is simply part of our sexual script these days. Of a nationally representative sample of people 18 to 75 years old in the US, 21% had sent a sex, and 28% had received a sex. And I say this in no way to invalidate Dana's frustration around this state of affairs, but sexting is simply on the menu. Not only that, but research also finds that men are one and a half times likelier to send sexed messages and also have higher sexed expectations or positive expectations about the outcomes of sexting, which guys are likelier to associate with excitement, arousal, desire, and also a boost in confidence. Whereas a lot of times for women, if we're looking in very like heteronormative contexts, women are likelier to feel like sexting is riskier due to the chance of slut shaming and photos that are sent privately being shared publicly. If we look at sexy photo swapping by itself, far and away this is most common between people who are in committed monogamous relationships. And in fact, it can be good for your relationship, some studies find, deepening senses of intimacy and healthy sexual dialogue. And in that case, if first comes love, then comes sending sexy photos of yourself, maybe those requests for cute sexy pics feel so abrasive because it feels like guys are collapsing the whole dating process and jumping over all of these other steps that you would prefer to go through before understandably exposing yourself or just part of yourself to somebody else that you might not know all that well IRL. And the thing is just like there's nothing inherently wrong with hooking up there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting or even asking for cute sexy pics of people that you are texting with. To me, the red flags start waving when someone tries to coerce or pressure someone into sending them a cute, sexy, or straight up nude pic. And this is where consent and personal boundaries come into the sexting landscape. Dana, if you don't wanna send a guy a cute, sexy pic, you don't have to send a guy a cute, sexy pic. You can just say like, no, that's not my game. And if a guy judges you and tries to prude shame you for not wanting to send a sexy pic, then screw that dude. On the flip side of that, if you are in a safe relationship, whether that's a long-term or a short-term, one with someone else and you want to explore what it's like to express yourself sexually through text messages and photos, then it's totally fine to do that as well. But it's all about, consent and comfort level and healthy exploration rather than feeling like you should send this sexy pic because that's what people do and that's what guys expect and they really like it and if you don't do it they won't like you. Quick word about sending unsolicited sexy pics to people that you are not in a relationship with. I made you it is poor sexting etiquette or sex etiquette. I do not know of a single woman who has ever been like yes from getting an unsolicited penis pic. One thing that disappoints me about a lot of the research out there on sexting is how cis and heteronormative it is. There's very little nuance even at this point with all of the sexting research that's been done. With that I wanna open up this conversation to all of you. Do you have any advice for Dana? Um, guys, do you have any insight on this as well? Because I seriously don't wanna sit here and try to womansplain why men <laughs> sex. And I also don't want to demonize sexting in any way at all because there's just enough people out there doing that already. How can we improve our sexting etiquette and also how can we ensure that the sexting that we're doing promotes a healthy consensual sexual culture? Let me know in the comments below. And as always ask me your questions whether they have to do with sexting, texting, or just any old thing that pops in your head so that I can give you some answers.